The Bible's plague of frogs in Exodus might not have been what you think. Scientists studying the Babylonian Talmud discovered an ancient debate suggesting it could have been just one gigantic frog. How is that possible? The Talmud, a compilation of Jewish teachings dating back to 200-500 CE, contains fascinating interpretations of biblical events. Scholars like Rabbi Shlomo Yitzchaki or Rashi explored the idea that a single, enormous frog might have seemed like countless smaller frogs to the Egyptians. The Talmud also mentions that this frog was so large it could cover a man's face. But is there any scientific basis for this? Studies on frog species like the Goliath frog, native to Cameroon, reveal that they can grow up to 13 inches long, big enough to make an impression. Yet no frog is large enough to cover a human face. So, what's the explanation? Some historians speculate that the plague might have been a natural phenomenon, like a mass frog migration triggered by environmental changes in the Nile. The Babylonians, known for their astronomical and biological observations, might have recorded this event in their texts. This debate isn't just about frogs. It reveals how ancient scholars interpreted biblical wonders through science and logic. What do you think? Could one massive frog have caused such chaos? Leave your thoughts below.